City Council briefed today on a new $750 million development plan for Padre Island, where Schlitterbahn currently is located. And as Brian Burns reports, it's appearing that more positive reactions are coming out of that news. It was sad to watch it come down, Schlitterbahn, when it went away. It was sad to see it go up because we lost a golf course. Timothy Miller is a resident who works on the island as a hairstylist. He says overall his business would be happy about it. It's going to be good, I think, to see something happen with it. City Council viewed a presentation on the Whitecap Preserve Development Project at their weekly meeting. That project spread over 25 acres will bring over $750 million in development, including bridges, boardwalks, and residential spaces. That includes hotels, restaurants, and shops. The development would cover the land that was the old Schlitterbahn water park. Your retired residents aren't going to be happy, but, but we're going to be happy, you know, you know, people that are working out here and stuff. So. I think it'll work. Guttlebutt Seafood Bar and Grill, which also operates Surfside Sandwich Shop and Hornet's Nest Sports Grill, is fully behind the development plan. The more business we can bring to the island, uh, the better off we all are. Uh, the more attention we can bring to this local area, the better off we all are. Ramsey Gomez says he just hoped traffic problems can be avoided in advance of any construction. The same, we're having a little bit of a hiccup on some of the construction over by the bridge. Uh, some of the days the traffic can get a little bit piled up. So as long as it's very organized construction and it's not going to affect businesses and flow of traffic, both for residents and for business owners, operators, uh, it'll be good. In addition to the waterfront, there will be 100 acres of parkland and trails that residents can walk through called the Whitecap Nature Preserve. Another business has good expectations for the project. Well, I think Whitecap Preserve is going to be amazing if they are successful in making this happen. I think it'll be something that's going to rival San Antonio's Riverwalk. City Council will next consider establishment of a public improvement district and after a public hearing will vote on approval. Brian Burns, 3 News.